cables that are under concentrated loads are cables that have loads hanging from individual points along that cable. And that might be a rope or a cable hanging off of them or a hook hang hung onto them. And it might look something like this where you've got your forces pulling down. And we approximate that these sections are, are straight. And that way we can use the method of sections and the method of joints to solve for these just like we do using or solving for trusses. And that way we can find the tension inside of these um, sections and solve for other unknowns that it might give us, such as the sag in the cables or what the reaction forces will be or what these forces can be given a certain amount of tension that can be in the table or in the cable. And you will use the equilibrium equations to solve for um, different forces and moments that are occurring and you'll use that through the method of sections. One important thing to note is that the horizontal tension, the horizontal component of the tension throughout the entire cable, not only with concentrated loads on cables, but also with distributed loads and catenary loads, um, the horizontal component of the tension is the same throughout the entire cable. It's not gonna change. What is going to change is the vertical component of the tension and that will depend on the slope of each of these sections of cable. And so the greater the slope, the more horizontal tension that there is going to be in that cable. And sometimes you will be given the um, maximum tension that can, there, that can be in the cable. Well, the segment with the greatest slope is going to have the greatest amount of vertical tension, which means that when you add up the vertical tension and the horizontal tension, you'll find that those equal the, the total tension. And th so since the horizontal tension stays the same, the vertical tension is going to decide which segment is going to have the maximum amount of tension in it. So that's one thing to keep in mind because it will be one of the things you know about a problem that you'll be able to use to solve for things that you don't know. I've got a video going over an example problem, you click on this video link and that will take you to um, an example video. You can watch that and get a better understanding of how all that works. And if you're new to this channel, my name is Preston Palmer with Student Engineering. And my goal is to help other engineering students like me better understand engineering. So if you found this video helpful, hit that like button and please subscribe.